Welcome to the bridge of the Fugger Equator. This is the survey shack and we have the main bridge out the back there. So this is where the surveyors work on a 24-7 basis. So there's somebody here at all, at all times. The data from the towfish uh, comes up into here. We've got lots of QC display so we can actually see the quality of the data. This is the CTEL systems, these are the, the satellite communication systems. This provides us a, a very fast broadband uplink to push the data out of the boat uh, to the government. Uh, it goes onto the cloud services. We also uh, allows downloading of data for the internet, so the ship has Wi-Fi on board, so all of the, the crew can uh, run around with their tablets or their mobile phones, and they've got the internet access even when we're in the deep ocean. I think that's a favorite part from the ship's crew's perspective. Here we have some more Konsberg equipment. This is the sea path. This is uh, the positioning system, which ties in very well with the multi-beam system. We have a very large full ocean depth multi-beam, an EM302, and that, uh, that paints the picture of the seafloor for the topography. That's where we find the volcanoes, the last large rift zones, and that's all done from the, uh, from the Konsberg system here. Moving along, we've got star, star packs. Star packs are the high precision GPS systems, which give us a sub five centimeter positioning of the ship at all times. So they're, they're a key part here. This uh, screen here is showing something called the HIPAP 101. That's the navigation system for the towfish. The towfish is behind the ship. It's about nine kilometers behind the boat at all times. This tells us where the ship is relative to the boat. So that means we can make maps of the seafloor and make sure we're covering the terrain correctly. This is called IOWIN, and this is all the various uh, instrumentation devices coming in in real time, so we can see all the various pieces of equipment, and we can QC them all, they all turn red if they're not working, and it gives us a, a good idea of, uh, that all the data is coming correctly. The other screens here, usually all used for QC, so we get real-time quality control to make sure the data is all of good quality. There's no, no point collecting rubbish data. We're now on the bridge control of the Fugger Equator. This is where the, the skipper or the mate on watch uh, sits. He's in charge of the safety of the operation of the entire ship, the whole spread. So his primary role is the safe navigation of the ship when we're going backwards and forwards, uh, out to sight. When we're online, when we're actually doing the search lines, these guys drive the ship and keep it perfectly online so that we run these parallel, long parallel lines, towing the fish behind us and so we can um, make the map of the seafloor and undertake the search. A lot of the searching is actually done with autopilots, so we have autopilot systems here. That helps guide the ship to within a couple of meters of, of where we need to be, so it's an important part because when we're running, some of the lines we run take five days to run the line. Keeping the ship within a couple of meters for five days is, is very difficult to do humanly, but the computers are very good at that sort of uh, repetitive operation. is really the heart of, of any ship, uh, bridges on ships, they've got many, many systems, uh, very many redundant systems, so if one thing breaks down, that's okay, we've got a spare, and often there's a, there's a, there's a tertiary backup as well. The ship's crew uh, obviously man this 24-7, the ship's leaving in four hours, so this will be a buzz in a couple of hours time with preparations to check the engines, and then out we go, out to site, back to location, and it takes us about six days to sail from here in Fremantle to our search location, deploy the equipment and then we'll resume the search. Yeah.